Now you see here this model, if I go into material mode, you can see that the material has a bump map attached, which accounts for all of these little dots everywhere. Now what I want to do is I want to go down to this hand and I want to add some dots all over the surface of these metal glove components. To do that, I'm going to go into there and then we're going to UV unwrap it. Now if I go into UV editing, I can see that it is unwrapped quite well. The, there's a lot of stretching around the edges, but we're not going to be painting on those, so it really doesn't make a difference. Now to add a bump map, what we're going to do is go to material, uh, is going to the node editor. Then we're going to add a vector node for bumps, attach the normal, but then this bump map is going to come from an image texture. So we're going to open texture, image, te image texture, and then attach the color node to the height of this node. To paint, uh, to paint the texture, we're going to open uh, 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 this up in texture paint mode. Then we're going to switch this to texture. We're going to add a paint slot, say diffuse color, we'll call it bump texture. Maybe go 2048 by 2048. That'll be black. Now we'll open this up, uh, bump texture. We'll delete that node here and open up bump texture. Now because we're in texture mode, if we get this brush and paint on it, we can begin to edit the texture. Now because we're in texture mode, it looks like a white on a black background. But because we've got a bump material, we can go into material mode and we'll see that the white rises above the black to create this bump. Unfortunately, it's round because we're using quite a soft brush. So I'll reduce the fall off by going under curve and then selecting a much harder brush, then pressing on it, which will give us a much less soft stroke. Now I'm going to zoom in, press F to make my brush smaller. Then maybe stroke there, there. Remembering that whiter colors will rise above the darker colors, which is why we're making the bumps white and the baseline black. One thing that can work quite nicely if you want to space them out by just dragging your thing instead of just pointing and clicking them individually is if you go to the spacing and up it from say 10% by default to something like 300% which will give you three dot spaces or two between each one. So drag, drag, drag and here you'll encounter a problem where if you drag across too far they start facing your point of reference instead of say if I came from this point of reference and redid that dot it would be much different. So when you get to this curved, a curved edge, just change your point of reference and do it from there. But for the rest of them, So now with the glove fully painted, that will just about wrap up this tutorial. Unfortunately, if you save Blender with Command S or whatever, it will not actually save your texture file. So what you need to do is go down here, press image, save as image to actually create the image file somewhere, name it, put it in a directory, save the image. And then what you want to do every time after that is you want to go down and just press save image which will save it to that file.